Sparking Zero. What up? My name is Brad. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Now today, we're going to sit down. We're going to watch every single trailer that's come out. Because my plan was to wait for all the trailers to come out and then do one big reaction stream to it. But they just keep releasing trailers and I don't feel like streaming. So we're making a video. If you enjoy the content on this channel, leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at RadicalYT. Without further ado, this is going to be a long video. we got 12 videos to watch, well, 12 trailers. We're going to skim through them relatively quickly because we've seen a lot of these already. We've already reacted to a couple of them, whatever else. But I want to make sure we do our due diligence because Sparking Zero is going to be... It's going to be massive. It needs to be massive. I actually, I genuinely think it's going to be massive. So let's get in. If you enjoy the content, leave a like, subscribe. Thank you so much. Now, like I said, a lot of these you've already seen, we've already discussed. So a lot of these initial ones that I've already talked about, or I mean, we know Goku and Vegeta were going to fight, right? Like <laughs> this is Goku versus Vegeta rivals trailer, but it doesn't hurt to go back through and kind of refresh your brain a little bit. Cause when I tell you, I full heartedly believe that Sparking Zero could be huge. I genuinely believe that. Let's see. Even this trailer, so this was what? Seven months ago. Four million views. This was seven months ago. And even looking at this trailer, man. I can't talk about one of them. I, I can't. I can't talk and have the trailer playing. They're talking so much. Um, it looks even better now than it even did back then. It was only seven months ago. I am still a little... You guys who are younger than, like, the age of, like, 20. Don't even know how much this means to a lot of people. Because, like, way back when, when Budokai Tenkaichi came out, you were kind of... You were, like, not ostracized, but nobody liked anime, man. In the early 2000s, that nobody gave a crap. So when you had that one friend that you could go play Budokai with, oh, my God. It was like a godsend. And now you're telling me I can get on and play with viewers and friends and family? Oh, dude. It's, look at this, look at this, I cannot wait. A lot of the people who are saying, no, they're not hyped, whatever else, uh, which is very few people, by the way, it's like literally half a percent of people saying they're not excited. <laughs> if you're a real Dragon Ball fan, you crap yourself every time something happens for Marking Zero. But the people who aren't excited for it just aren't of that age group, and that's understandable. It's like people who don't get excited about Pokemon, they didn't grow up with it or whatever else. It's just how it is, right? What are you going to do? Oh, all right. Trailer one. Down. Not bad. Again, eh, you know, it's fine. We're moving to this one. I got to adjust the volume for each of these freaking trailers because they're all just slightly different. This was five months ago. 2.7 million views. I do want to listen a little bit though. It's still a little bit tough to hear what's going on with it. Actual gameplay. Turn that down. So it's about a lot of the same. This is 12. Oh, this is the one that shows off some of the techniques. We did make a specific. If you want to watch my full video of this one, you can. Gameplay showcase. This is before anybody else had really played it, like in the community. The only thing that I will say still kind of worries me a little bit. So if you've played the Naruto Storm games, you know when people use like a substitution jutsu and they turn into like a log and then they turn into a log and they turn into a log. And it's like, I'm a little nervous about that with Vanish. Um, in this game where, you know, you teleport behind your enemy, they teleport, they teleport, they teleport, counter, counter, they teleport. I'm a little nervous about that. We'll have to see. I have confidence. It's going to be balanced pretty nicely, but that's probably the one thing that to this day worries me a little bit. At the same time, though, I really haven't gone through and watched the gameplay of like, you know, Nano and stuff like that playing it. I haven't watched those. Maybe at the end of this video, we'll just do a little bit of watching. Kakunsa. I've never heard Kakunsa's... English voice. I'm gonna be honest with you here. How many ladies are all around me? How many? I saw. Uh, I don't know if it's true or not. I saw Kid Trunks saying that's Cap. It looks so good. Ah, ah, I can't. I honestly, I can't say it enough. And I know some of the screenshots look a little bit rough. Goku's got his skinny ass neck. And a couple of them, like in Super Saiyan, a couple, I'm not going to lie to you, they're a little rough. <laughs> but other than that, as long as that gets ironed out by the time the game comes out, I don't even care. We're fine. But I will say, Goku is, uh, some of those, you know, looks like, will look better. It just looks so cool. 
I'll never quite be used to that voice. I am one of the people that does prefer the Vic voice, but with everything that happened there, I don't care what side of the fence you fall on when it comes to that. All that stuff, it's very touchy. Urgh, hit! I, I like Hit. I didn't like Hit for the longest time. Until Red Hit came out in Legends. Then he won me over a little bit just because of how cool he is. I understand he had his time stop with that stuff, the anime. It just never really intrigued me that much, to be honest. Like, whenever Goku, like, paid him to assassinate him, or I don't even know. When all that stuff happened, I didn't really care for it, to be honest. He was just kind of, oh, wow, isn't that cool, I guess. <laughs> Whoa, isn't that, that's sick. <laughs> like, next up, we got Power versus Speed. This is Dispo, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Dispo. I know he's not, but he's got to be related to beers in some way, bro. He has to be. Super Trunks, baby. Like Alright, we were in the last trailer, Kakunsa. So were you. Get out of here, old man. Topo is one of those two where I'm like, shut up, Topo. And then he goes like into his God of Destruction mode, and I'm like, oh, alright. What's up, Topo? What's up, dog? Ah, it looks sick! So they're gonna have tag attacks, right? Like like this right here. Intending you are trying to use the Ginyu Force. Like they will have Goldo and Rakum having their attack. Jason Burter having their attack. I'm assuming. Can you just see literally all these? Is that the same one? It's not the same. It's a different one. Look at how many spots had to be filled in. Now we're down to like, there's like 25 spots available. Master and Apprentice. So a Gohan and Piccolo, I believe, right? I just bought a statue the other day. If you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen it. Now, I bought a statue the other day. It's Piccolo taking off his cloak. And the cloak is the stand. And it's, it's the coolest freaking statue, bro. <laughs> so, way back when, when Dragon Ball Z was airing on Toonami, um, I was not, that's when I first got into it. Like, I watched GT first. I know, it's blasphemous. But when it was airing on Toonami, I would sit down and, uh, I was watching like the Z Saga, you know, like the filler stuff where Gohan gets lost in the woods and he beats all those kids, and I didn't like that. But way back when, the older I've gotten, it's awesome. Like that filler point is so cool because it shows Gohan growing up on his own terms. Pigtails, give me the pigtails back. Follow up, infinity. Playable Whis! <laughs> Playable Whis! I just can't wait, dude. Whis looks sick. I mean, we know Whis is canonically, I think he's stronger, right? I hate using the word canon. I hate it so much. Black tank top trunks is the sickest trunks. I'll chill out. I wonder if they're gonna do it like Kakarot with like DLCs and stuff. I feel like they will for like a lot of the movies or Bardock and whatnot, but I could be wrong. We'll see. I'm hoping they don't. What? Okay, so ideally, again, if you've never played the original, I would highly recommend you go play Budokai Tenkaichi 3, like, today, if you're watching this. I'm not endorsing emulators, but, you know, if you went and found an emulator, hypothetically, you could find the ROM online. It's pretty easy, but I would say go do that. It was such a special feeling when I was a kid to unlock new characters, not pay for them. <laughs> like, like, think of old Smash Bros, where you just do some crazy random thing, and boom, you unlocked Falco or whoever you're trying to get. It's kind of what I want here. I think it'd be awesome to just be playing through the story and you just slowly unlock characters as you do different things. You know, maybe you went one path, you go a different way, you unlock Dr. Wheelow or some random character. That's what I'm really hoping, Sparking Zero Masters. Because I don't want to just get the base game and there's like 100 characters and they're like, hey, buy the rest. I'll buy them. They've already got my money for the $250 goddamn collector's edition. So I'll buy it. But I don't really want to just buy everything, right? Like, let's be honest here. Alright, what is this one? Fused Warriors. So it's Trunks and Goten, right? Trunks, Goten, Khalifa, and Kaoya. Yeah. 
Not even to mention, if we get things like Gokul and stuff, if you don't even know what Gokul is, in the old Tenkaichis, maybe it was Raging Blast? I don't fully remember, but you could fuse into like Tiencha and Gokul. Oh god, if they do that, if they actually do that, they will have everybody's money. If they add in a little bit of a fusion mechanic, not a lot, but enough that you can fuse characters that are similar. Although, Goku and, I don't know, Hercule are not very similar. <laughs> And then they're going to fuse to Gotenks. God, not even mention Daima, bro. I can't wait for... Ah, oh, it's such a good time to be a Dragon Ball fan. I'm sorry. Gotenks. Listen, man, I love Gotenks. Um, Ke Ke Kefla would wa would wash Gotenks. Like that. Gotenks is cooler, in my opinion, but Kefla would wash Gotenks. Maybe not Super Saiyan 3. No, he probably... She probably still would wash Super Saiyan 3 go tanks, but... He could definitely put up a fight. I'm still a Gogeta fanboy, but... I do like Vegito. I, I've come to really like Vegito ever since that cutscene. Ever since the cutscene in Kakarot, where he fights Super Boo. I have very much come to really like Vegito. Merge Demasu looks a little too small and skinny here when he's meant to be like a Hulk type thing, but it is what it is. A lot of that stuff they're going to iron out. I'm not too worried about it. And they always can patch stuff too. So like if the game comes out and a character's like too skinny or something, they can always patch it later. I'm not going to really worry about that too much. It takes two. It takes two to make them. Look at this. Look at this! I, again, I'm a Gogeta fanboy, but canonically it would be Vegito is stronger because of how the fusion works. Canonically, we we know this. That is the fact. I think Gogeta's cooler. It just is what it is. A lot more unique. But he, canonically, Vegito probably. Probably does. He doesn't even wash Gogeta, but he's definitely strong. Sorry. That makes you mad? I'll just tell you. Release date announcement trailer. No thanks. <laughs> Sword versus fist. Bro, just Super Vegito throw it. This is why, so as much as I, I don't really give Legends crap, but as much as everybody kind of gives Legends crap, right, for, like, just whatever, that's what makes Legends so sick, is all these characters coming together in this kind of thing. Like, that's why Dokkan and stuff is so successful, because you can just use whatever character you want to use. Kind of. Dokkan's a bit different, but... Ah! Jiren fighting Super Vegito... Sword of Hope, Trunks fighting Ripper Ant. I'm not going to tell you Ripper Ant's hype or something. Yajirobe! I do wonder how they're going to handle that. Like, they already confirmed pretty much it's going to be a little bit based on, like, the character's actual power level. So, like, Yamcha, as far as I know, will be weaker than, like, Gogeta or Goku or anybody. <laughs> Sorry, Yamcha fans. Um, but I wonder how they're going to make it work. Because there's no way Yajirobe could pull up and do damage to Gogeta if there's such a massive scale. So it's got to just be a a finite amount up until the most recent patch fighters was crazy balanced maybe it'll do something like that <laughs> fighter now is, is not balanced but <laughs> i suck at fighters so i can't be talking about it the bora is so much cooler than he ever has a right to be he literally shows up gets his he like spits on something he gets his ass beat He's so sick. Now I'll finish you. Huh? <laughs> Andy loves uh... I, You could have asked me. I, you could have been like, Brad, I'll give you $100,000. What is his name? And I just said, Dr. Pepperoni. That's all I remember about him. <laughs> I don't remember anything else about that. Something about this feels completely different. God, it's so sick. It's so sick. And now you will taste my blade. I don't care if you like Goku Black's voice or whatever. It's so dope. 
well, okay, I mean, but, I mean, MUI would, or UI even to sign, would wash Goku Black, but. Let the wrath of a god sink in. This is the end for you. God. So excited. We got like five more trailers still, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> We're going to be here for a minute, so don't worry. <laughs> Game mode showcases. That's right. So I did a video on this one too, I believe. So it's it's cool. Uh, let me see. We can just go through roughly. I don't remember exactly what they showcased. Yeah, that's right. Custom battles, so you can set what items, what transformations, a time limit, location, everything. All your friends can play through it. So like, I could make a level. You guys could play through it. You could make levels that I could play through on stream. For me, that is a defining feature. So, I think as long as they do all of this stuff right, that is where Sparking Zero will see its greatest success. Making everything accessible to the fan base and to streamers and content creators. As much as maybe a lot of people aren't a big fan of content creators because everybody's trying to be a content creator instead of like going to be like an electrician or something. Everybody wants to make YouTube videos. It is where the future is heading for a whole lot of people. So, as long as they do this right to where content creators can hop on and play their viewers' levels, or they can make levels for their viewers to play. Perfect. It's going to be pristine. We don't need to go too much into that one, though. Saiyan and Namek Saga characters trailer. Man, 1.3 million views. Just showing off the Saiyan and Namek Saga. It's crazy, man. When I was a kid... You could have you could have told me, well, Dragon Ball is gonna be huge when you become an adult, and I'd have been like, yeah, bullshit. Dragon Ball is so rip Toriyama, man, because he made something that is it's probably everlasting. I don't know if Dragon Ball is ever going anywhere. If it keeps growing at the pace, th you have to think how much we genuinely have. We genuinely have two phone games that make billions of dollars between the two. We have console games that sell a lot of copies. We have card games that sell a lot of cards. If Dragon Ball honestly keeps growing like this, like this exponential, I mean, there's like 16 active games for Dragon Ball right now. Like the, <laughs> Dragon Ball Super Heroes, the card game, the TCG one, I can't think of the name of it, that's on the browser-based one. That one's pretty sick, or you download the app for your computer on Steam. Uh, Project Multi, Fighters, Kakarot, Xenoverse 2 still gets updates, Legends, Dokkan. There is so much to Dragon Ball. That's just video games. There's like, uh, I love Dragon Ball, so it's okay. I can talk about Dragon Ball until the day that I die. Alright, alright, we're good, Kui. <laughs> I never knew canonically he was Super Zarbon. I mean, he's in the episode for like 40 seconds, so... Nail! Dude, Nail is that type of character that when I was a kid, I was like, yeah, Nail, that's my favorite character. <laughs> you know, a fun fact, a fun radical fact for you. Tien was my favorite character for about 15 years. And then Bardock became my favorite character. But yeah, for a long, long, long time, it was Tien. And Nail was up there. That is a, that is a, a wicked looking... That is a sick transformation. Look at his tiny ass head. <laughs> Shut up. That's not. All right, whatever. It is tiny ass head. God, when Sparking Zero comes out, I'm not going to get any sleep. I will be streaming for like nine hours. I guarantee it. Even if the game stinks, which I don't think it's possible that it will. There's going to be enough modes that you'll find something you like. Look at this. God, I really, I just, they just need to set records, man. That was a terrifying. It was amazing. I'm not even talking, we're just watching the trailer together now. Trying to get down to the thing, but I couldn't see my damn mouse. 
Listen to this. Let me loud. That is the most visceral you fool that I've ever heard. Excited. I didn't say it enough times. I'm excited. Android Saga. Dude, playable King Cold and Mecha Frieza. I wonder. I wonder if they'll give us characters like Kuriza. So if you don't know who Kuriza is, he's an old ass character from one of the old Budokais, where he uh, he is Frieza's son. Look up C U Frieza. Like the letters C. You and then freeze it. Spell that out. Kuriza. Or I guess freeze it without the F. Kuriza. Hurry up and reach for him. My power is significantly greater than before. He's so ugly. Would you like me? I love how ugly second form so he's just always been hideous. I love it. Tribune Cannon, baby. Dude, so I tweeted about it. He takes Android 18. He's like, give me come here. <laughs> She's gone. She he just turned he just atomized her. Turned her into pure energy. <laughs> she is zapped out of there, bro. Look at this. Whoop. <laughs> Look at him. I wish the Cell Juniors just talked like him. But they were just a little... They just, just talked like Perfect Cell. I, I would love that. Look at how tall his hair is. We all talk about... B I thought about this the other day. I was looking at like one of my statues that's like second form. Uh, or Gohan Super Saiyan 2. His hair has always been super tall. I think Beast did it perfectly. His hair is so tall. I wonder if we'll have a playable Cell Max. Yeah, remember Goku's a terrible dad though, so... <laughs> Look at this! I feel like such a normie. I've played this so many times. Do you know how many times I've played the Android Saga? I would wager it like 150 times between different games. And I look at it and I'm like, ah! I can't wait to play it! Yeah, maybe, probably not, but he's up there. <laughs> I mean, Bears is in the universe, so probably, maybe. We'll see about that, Goku. Oh, my son. Oh, my son. Oh, wait, hold on. How fast did he? That was such a cool... That was so sick way back when. Well, if you, if we, if you didn't follow the internet way back when, like when social media wasn't a thing, and just watching Trunks pull up and just bought, hey, I, it, there's nothing like it, man. Nowadays, everything gets spoiled before the game even comes out. And it's pretty much the ones we just watched. Interesting voice. Yeah, we just watched this one. Because it's on here twice. Shh. Shh. 50 days from now. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. But actually, we're at like 29 days. That's crazy. That in like four weeks, we're going to be playing Sparking Zero. That's nuts. Get started on turning you into a super saint. You'll finish. Sorry to keep you waiting. 
Sorry to keep you waiting. Prepare yourself. Pushing to the absolute limits of our power. Reorder and play three days. Early. Kind of. I, if you do like the collection edition, I don't think I'm going to get that three days early, but that's okay. And this is the most recent one. This is when that this trailer came out, and I was like, okay, well, I now have to make this stupid video because literally, like, they just keep making trailers. They're just going to keep putting trailers out. I may as well make the video now. So that's why now we're here. And I'm like, well, we'll watch them all. Screw it. You know, it's pretty amazing. While I've been in other worlds, I've done nothing but trade. Ah! We get to see. I do. I rewatch that scene all the time. Of Goten run up. Ah! Alright, Poopy. Poo. As you wish. If I drop my guard for even a second, I'm toast. Yeah, this would have been the time. I think that's way back when, right? They say canonically Debora is stronger than Cell than Cell, right? Maybe they say he's weaker, I don't remember. I mean that's a sick ass costume right there with just in the I it kinda it looks a little goofy, but It looks a little skinny. I, I'm, I'm hoping that they fix a lot of that because they definitely look a little bit skinny. They're on the skinnier side. All the characters are. So I don't know if they fully... We'll see. Because like, even like look at Super Saiyan 3 if they show a close-up. I'm sure you've seen it on Twitter. Didn't look too bad there. Fight you. I'm gonna kill you. Why did he say fight you? He should have said, fight you. No, I'm going to kill you. Not just, I'm going to kill you. Whatever. Good enough. <laughs> I'd say my strategy was quite successful. You got to walk. Think about how strong Super Boo genuinely was right there. This is, he's, he's up there, man. Super Boo with Gohan Absorbed is very, 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 very strong. That's like been like a debate. Since I was a kid, on if Kid Boo's stronger or Super Boo with Gohan Absorb, but he has he has to be stronger. There's no way he's not with Go Tank, Super Saiyan three, and Gohan, and I think Piccolo's in there too. You know how fast the Boo Saga would have wrapped up if they had Vegito. Thanks, Vegeta. Vegeta, he looks a little skinny, but like I said before, but so I don't know if. Any game will ever do that fight better than Kakarot. That Kakarot fight with Vegito versus Super Buu is it is the best Dragon Ball fight in all of Dragon Ball. Well, the end of Kakarot where it's Goku versus Vegeta is pretty goddamn fire. But but that is by far that is my favorite fight in all of Dragon Ball. That says a lot. There's a lot of fights in Dragon Ball. <laughs> I'm so sad that Toriyama didn't get to see this game come out, man. I'm so sad he didn't get to see it come out. Obviously, rip Toriyama, and we all discussed it whenever that happened, but it genuinely is sad. Daima's coming out, this is coming out, Project Multi, and Toriyama had to pass. Shit does happen. It is what it is, you know? Still. Either way, I want to sit down and react to every trailer. That is a 30-minute video reacting to every trailer. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, get ready for Sparking Zero because we will be playing a lot of it. Um, that's about it, really. Thank you so much. Follow me on Twitter, RadicalYT. I'll catch you in the next video. Deuces.